you find yourself worrying about whether your child will ever master your languages? As a language teacher and a part of myself, I can understand how you feel. Even during my pregnancy, I wondered whether my child would be able to handle all these languages. The mere thought that I might not be able to pass on our languages successfully to our children scared me. But after studying, researching for years and through my personal and professional experience, I discovered some valuable insights that I believe will help you too. So if you're ready to ease your worries and set your child up for success in language learning, keep watching. This video is for all the parents out there who are raising bilingual or multilingual children and have experienced the fear of their child not being able to communicate with them in their target language. I understand how frustrating it can be to put in all that effort to pass on a language only to feel like it's not getting through. In this video, I will be sharing some valuable tips and tricks that have helped me boost my children's language skills in mind-blowing ways and will hopefully help you too. So get ready for the 10 top strategies of improving their language abilities. Here they come. Create NEAT. The first tip is to create the need to speak the target language. If kids don't have the need to speak the language, then why would they? There must be a good reason for them to be motivated to use the language that is hard for them. You can create consistency from the start by speaking only your strongest language to your child. Even if there are other people around speaking, the majority language, even if not everybody is able to understand you. The truth is this. If you mix the languages unconsciously when speaking to your children, you are allowing them to choose which language to speak back to you. And almost always they will pick their strongest language, which is normally the majority language. So again, the easiest way to create need is to be consistent and stick religiously, religiously to your strongest language, your native language, your L1, when addressing your child, at least until a strong bond has been created between you and your child in that language. When you have reached that point and only then, it becomes easier to combine languages, language learning methods, not before. One-on-one -on -one is priority. It's important to make one-on-one -on -one time a priority. That interaction with eye contact and no other distractions is worth gold in language development of children. Spend as much time together where possible, one-on-one. -on -one. Games promote talking and they are fun. Word games such as word bingo or cards and board games are great motivators to get kids talking. Puzzles are a fun way to spend time with your children working on a task together and developing logical thinking skills, cooking together or doing any kind of hobby that you enjoy combined with interaction and communication are language and relationship boosters. I make it a priority to set aside dedicated time each week to spend quality time, one-on-one -on -one quality time with each of my children because it's not the same when they are together. Talk a lot in the target language. In other words, fill the valuable time that you have with your bilingual child or multilingual kids with a rich variety of words and sentences. Talk as much as you possibly can with your child every day and encourage them to speak back with you. The more you talk, the more words they hear, the more they learn and the faster they will start talking in the target language. Remember, you need to make sure that their language cups get filled. They won't start using a language until the cup is overflowing. Read aloud. Read aloud to your children every single day, whether it is with their bedtime routine or just throughout the day randomly. Installing a love of reading is one of the best things you can do for your children. Bedtime stories are not only a way to bond with your child after a long day, for example, but they also introduce your child to new vocabulary each day. And it doesn't matter in which language you read. Reading in any language is good for improving their language abilities in general. 
I read books to my kids in German and Spanish and often also during meals. My father-in-law made a book holder or a recipe holder for the kitchen and now I use it to read books to my children while they eat. Not always, but sometimes. It saves us time. Play music. Play music and sing songs in the target language. A melody helps children memorize the words and phrases that they wouldn't otherwise be able to. And lyrics help to broaden also their vocabulary. With some group of students, for example, I've only focused on singing songs to pass on German. For some children, this is one of the most effective ways to learn a language. Maybe your child is one of them too. Try it out. Add more books to your library. Make sure to have lots of different books available in your languages. I've made a habit of visiting the library every two or three weeks. Since I'm already there with my students, it's convenient for me to also pick out a selection of German books, which is the majority language in my case, to bring home for my children. Although most of the books are in German, I still read them aloud in that language and then explain the plot in Spanish. This approach helps my children develop both languages simultaneously. However, when we discuss the books together, the content of the book, I always make a point of doing so in the minority language because that is my main language. I use the OPOL method with Spanish and the OSOL method with German. This last point is crucial to be successful with this strategy. This is already advanced multilingual parenting stuff. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Find help. If you are a working parent, finding a bilingual nanny or an au pair who speaks the mi minority language is a great way to ensure your children get exposure to that language. I do that with my own children to make sure that they learn properly high German. My nanny is at home twice a week while I work and one of her jobs is to read books to my kids and interact with them in high German. And that although I'm a German teacher, I still only use high German with my kids when I read books to them. My whole focus and energy go otherwise into Spanish, the minority language, because that is so important. Travel. Consider traveling to places where the target language is spoken. Immersing your child in the language by being around native speakers is an amazing way to boost their language skills. If you have family abroad, take advantage of that and visit when possible or make them come to visit you. Or try to choose vacation destinations where your child can practice and experience the target language. We invest almost all of our vacations into visiting our family and friends that live abroad. Language immersion camps can be a great option for older children. Being fully immersed in the language for a few weeks can have a significant impact on your child's language abilities. My parents followed a similar approach with me when I was growing up and uh, my in-laws did the same thing with my husband, funny. Every other summer we were sent to Switzerland to attend sport camps, specially designed for Swiss youth living abroad. And the camps aimed to bring together teenagers from around the world to immerse them in the Swiss culture and language. As a 15 year old, I found the experience to be one of the greatest of my life. I was able to use all the languages I knew and at the time and truly appreciate their value. The camp was a significant motivator for me in terms of language learning as it taught me that the importance of being able to communicate with people from different backgrounds. I realized that speaking multiple languages was not only a way to make friends, but also a way to broaden my horizon and overcome limitations. Through that experience, I, I discovered the true need and value of language learning and that you can do as well by sending your kids to, to, a, to a camp. So I'm thinking about doing the same for my children one day, 
but to boost primarily their English skills. Maybe a youth camp in England or Australia or maybe the US, who knows? Multilingual or bilingual schools. Last but not least, consider enrolling your child in a bilingual or multilingual school. This type of education provides daily exposure to two or more languages and can help your child not only speak, but also read and write in those languages. Do some research to find bilingual schools and maybe nurseries in your area or consider enrolling your child in an international school. Mostly if you are thinking of moving uh, to another country. I also went to bilingual schools as a child and the first one was an immersive German Spanish school and during high school I went to a bilingual English Spanish school. And yeah, I guess that is why I'm here speaking to you right now. So whichever language method and strategy you use, consistency is key. This video here somewhere will give you some practical tips and ideas about how to be consistent. So check it out. Thank you for watching. Keep on doing a great job and see you soon.